Now comes Overlander and his Indians. Out of shotgun is Kevin. Little inside give, fighting for yardage is Matthews. And the captain, Ryan Matthews, will fight for a couple yards. Yeah, Ryan Matthews came back after being out last year with an ACL, and he looks like he's doing fine tonight. If you give him a little crack, he can make something happen. It's just the, it's just the fact that the Indians need to find a way to give him that little crack, which, is, which could be the big problem all night. His future, of course, is lacrosse. He'll go to the one of the premier lacrosse institutions in the country. I'm not talking about Manhasset because he's already at one of the premier lacrosse institutions in Manhasset. He's talking about Michigan, right? He's going to Johns Hopkins. <laughs> yeah, look, Michigan's heading for the... I think Manhasset's found something. They, they seem to be moving the ball a little bit better. A couple screens, draws, keeping him off, keeping Beth Page off pace. They sling it out to Ryan Matthews. Matthews breaks the tackle. Ryan Matthews is loose. Matthews crosses the 40. Matthews is going to go. Touchdown, Manhasset. Ryan Matthews gets it done. The captain takes it into the end zone. 72 yards for the Johns Hopkins bound lacrosse player, but he delivers a blow to the Beth Page defense, and that is just what the Indians needed. Really got him back in the game. This is a great play right when they needed it, going into halftime, down 15, makes a big 60-yard reception, changes the game. But Ryan Matthews has put a lot of life in Friday night football. Sometimes a little play turns into a big one with the playmakers. Yeah, he got a great opportunity right there to catch the ball in the flat. This is what I've expected Manhasset to do all game, allow their athletes in space, make people miss, and that's just what Ryan Matthews did. Makes one miss right there, great cut back right there, and now it's off to the races. And he's a good enough athlete to make you really pay for it. Uh, for Matthews, a play like this, Amani, has got to feel good when you tear an ACL. All the work, all the rehab, all the hours and all the pain, you make a play like this, it's all worth it. It's all worth it. And also, not only for Matthews, for Orlander, he's had a rough night so far, getting roughed up, throwing an interception, but he comes back strong, and that's what you like to see out of these young guys. Keeping after the, the games, keeping after it, and playing through adversity. Well, Matthews, who missed all of his junior season on the football field with that knee injury, was undecided on whether he would play in 2011. And he went to Chuck Collier and said, I'm going to come back. And boy, Coach Collier welcomed him with open arms. What an athlete. We mentioned we'll go to Johns Hopkins to play lacrosse. They named him a captain. He's an A student in the classroom. He's going to John Hopkins following his father. Greg Matthews. What a ride he's had from Manhasset football. You know, as a freshman, he started at safety and a sophomore as a freshman on the football field. That's big time stuff. Back on Long Island, Nassau County battle between Manhasset and Beth Page is an eight point lead for the home side. But beware of the Indians of Manhasset. They got a huge play from Ryan Matthews. He is with DJ. We're now with the man of the hour. Ryan, you guys got yourself back in this ball game with the touchdown that you scored. What was said to you in the halftime with that being the case that you guys are now back in this ball game? Uh, you know, on defense, we got to continue to stop a run. You know, that's the key to this game. I think they got a really good running game, really good line. I think we got to blow up the middle a little bit and continue to do what we're doing on offense and passing the ball. What about the rain? How is that going to affect your offensive game plan in the second half? Uh, the rain might affect us a little bit, but I don't really see it too much of an effect, you know. Because we're still, we're still getting the ball off. The center's doing all right. And we just switch the balls a lot, keep it fresh. Quarterback's doing a great job. So. All right, thanks a lot, Ryan, and good luck in the second half. But Manhasset never say die. Kevin Overlander to the playmaker. Ryan Matthews, watch this one. Yeah, you get, get one of their athletes, Ryan Matthews, in the open field. This is exactly what Beth Page is going to have to do for the rest of this game. It is the 122nd Woodstick Classic MSG Varsity's 
game of the week, Manhasset and Garden City. You've got number 11 taking on number one, the bitter rivalry. Two of the best teams here at Warren King Field at Garden City High School. It was a year ago, the 2011 Woodstick. Of course, that game was at Manhasset. We'll pick up the action in the third quarter of that game. Manhasset trails 4-3. But watch Johnny Thomas to Ryan Matthews. Matthews comes down the alley, left-handed rocket, game tied at four. All right, Kelly, thank you so much. And Greg Matthews, legendary player at Johns Hopkins in his day, and now just a great supporter of Manhasset lacrosse and really a great supporter of MSU Varsity. Always says such nice things to say about what we do for kids, and his son just really has been a picture of courage, tearing both ACLs. But Ryan Matthews has put his nose to the grindstone and got his way back onto the field here in his senior season with those two surgically repaired knees. What a warrior. Here's Matthews now with a right-handed rocket. As he got down the alley, he got a look. That's what they need out of Ryan Matthews, the captain. He can let it fly with the best of them. They'd love to get in some looks at the keeper. Talk about Ryan Matthews and what he's gone through with the injuries and that. You know, it, it's really a testament to what kind of kid he is. And he could have basically said, hey, look, you know, I'm, I'm banged up. I want to really rehab and, and make my life a little easier going into my college career. But he wants to be out here with his teammates. He's given everything he possibly can, even though at many times during this season he hasn't been 100%. Sean Hurt gets it over to Matthews. Matthews, left-hand stinger. Ryan Matthews giving us all the reasons why he's headed to Hopkins. Streaking left-handed pulls it. Not sure if that's Randy or Greeley. Big play by Ryan Matthews. Checking back into the game, number 32, Ryan Matthews. Again, wearing that number 32 at Manhattan. It's a tradition to give a Tremendous midfielder who's a leader on and off the field. The number 32 worn by John Driscoll. And Matthews draws the flag, shoots just wide. See the intensity. I mean, talk about a determined young man, Ryan Matthews. Certainly headed to JHU for all the right reasons. Talking about determined, coming back from two ACL injuries. First the left and then the right, if I'm not mistaken. And he rehabbed very hard in the offseason and he wanted to be back for this game. He's a player that changes the offense so much with his ability to score in transition. He's a great shooter. Just a phenomenal athlete in general. 